There you are. Hello. Hi. We're at Spring Hammock Preserve. Spring Hammock Preserve. Here on the Seminole Trail. Looks like we're close to um, Longwood area. Wow, they got plenty of seating area. We're just hitting the trail right now, so. Plenty of parking here, like a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot more than the last trail we were at, and seems to be a connection to the large trail that connects like all of Florida. So there's a trail that goes all the way from the Panhandle to the Everglades that you can actually take. I like that it's very covered, as you can tell through here. Um, so you don't feel much of any heat, although it's almost 11, so it's not super hot right now, but. I can see the mosquitoes getting bad out here, though. They already yeah. started with me. Yeah. They were like, hey, girl. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Got lots of uh, wildlife uh, growing out here. Um, I'll definitely put in some shots of all the cool little weeds and everything for plant lovers who like weeds. So yeah, I am still on my fast. Yeah, this Ooh. is day two, right? This is day number two, Monday and Tuesday, so yeah, day number two, but I'm winding down because... I <laughs> Hello, Mr. Lizard. <laughs> well, hi, bud. <clears throat> I'm winding down. This will be tomorrow morning at 8. I'll break it. So, my energy is a little bit lacking, but it's nice to be on a hike. I fasted because I'm actually burning fat mm -hmm. while I'm walking, so pretty cool. And tomorrow we're... Heading to the Tampa Bay Rays game versus the Texas Rangers at 1 p.m. So we're going to leave our house around 9 a.m. And Looks like there's a split in the trail. Which way shall we go? Yeah. Like, should we go there? Or should we go here? We'll stay on this path for now, and then we'll come back and maybe go that way. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm kind of excited about... Um, tomorrow and getting back into nature and experiencing a different a different way of um, of pace baseball game is always fun if you haven't done that definitely try to make it to one um we haven't been to a baseball game together not together actually yeah that's a good point it's going to be our very first time as a couple that we're going to be attending a baseball game the baseball season just started so mm -hmm. it's going to be fun times fun hopefully times. we can take you through some sites of the tampa bay area maybe stop in ebor or something and take some video we'll see yeah. What kind of time we have? So, like so far, not much wildlife I've seen. Yeah. Like, I mean, apparently, this is 2.8 miles, mm -hmm. it said. Um, you can um, take photography, obviously. You can go hiking. There's uh, biking and plenty for a picnicking area. It's set on the... Um, in the front. But yeah, not much going on thus far. But you know what? Sometimes when you just need some peace and quiet, this is a really good place to come and get it. Beautiful spider webs over here. Yeah, we're just going to show that out. There. Can you see? Let's see. Really well designed. 
<laughs> it's like we went from hogs to spiders. <laughs> yeah, so far this trail is not nearly as rustic as the last one we were on. This one's more of a relaxed walk. Looks like you could take a horse back here too, I think I read. Oh, that's if, neat. If you wanted to. I just have a feeling we might see something there. We might see some wildlife because it is awful quiet back here. Yeah. There's like no one here. So that is another thing that I was reading on the um the reviews for this trail. They said that a lot of people like to come here before work. It's very quiet. It's not as popular as other trails. Um so that kind of gives it a little feeling of exclusivity and Extra quiet. It's very shaded. Yeah. Not much sun, which is always a good thing in Florida. Especially after you have a Sunday like we did yesterday. <laughs> the sun kind of gets you very tired very quickly. Um, it all depends on the type of person that you are and how your body adapts to heat. But... I think unless there's a uh, squirrelly right there, squirrel. A squirrel? Yeah. There. No, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Oh, I see him through the Are thing. Are you sure it's not upside down? I have no idea, babe. He's just saying. Yeah, again, these mics are pretty awesome. Erin can go way up there and talk, and y'all can hear her, and I can stay back here and film her, and she can, you can hear me as well. So it's pretty cool to be able to have these mics. Yeah, I'll let him do the filming for a few. I like a little break. Some beautiful palms back here. Really tall palms. Can you hear the birds? Oh, yeah. A cardinal. Where did you see? Oh, yep, right there's a cardinal. This tree. Right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. literally in front of me, and you'll see him. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. So, for those of you that he flew away, those of you that don't know, my family believes that car cardinals are spirit animals. Um, there's always been one that has come around after a death of a loved one from my grandma to my aunts to my uncles to my mom. And the stories are very vast. And I mean, I've even had a cardinal come peck at my window after my mom died. And um, the males are red, bright red, and the females are are not red. They're more brown. Yeah. But, um, like brown was like a pink hue to it. Yeah, but they are they are spirit animals for our family, so it's pretty cool. Like there's a lot of cardinals back up in here. They're our family. They're always quick to fly away, but I would like to invite you, if you're watching, to take a deep breath, see all the green, if you can't get outdoors. I think I'm going to take a walk on the wild side here. Let's do it. And go over this little... Let's explore a bit. Man-made... Dang, got some tadpoles up in here. Ooh. All right. Think I can brave it? Oh, yeah. 
You don't got a problem. <laughs> so looks like there's a whole nother trail back here, guys. So that's pretty cool. Look over here. It's an adventure. So this area definitely gives you plenty of choices. It's not just a all straight and winding road like the very last one. This one, it's like you want to go on this bridge or you want to go through here. Yeah, less guided of a tour, more of like a free where you want to go, which yeah. is pretty cool to explore. That's neat. This looks like it hasn't been explored in a while back here, so who knows what we'll find. We might find some indigenous people back here. Well, I'm looking at a native Floridian myself right here. For your sight. We run into the swamp ape, that would be pretty cool. Have it on film here. Be careful. Are you are you gonna go across there? Oh, shoot, I didn't even notice. I think that might be the very end of the trail that we're on. I don't know. I don't know. But I wanted to get to this mushroom here. Oh. And this is pretty fun. I like this. So, do you want to come down or do you want to give me the camera? Yeah, you can take the camera for a bit. Be careful for snakes down here. Because... <laughs> I was not recording. What? I wasn't recording. Well, when I'm I was recording talking. now. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. So yeah. So did you get my magnolia trail no. stuff? So right now we're walking on a trail that's. It says it's called the Magnolia Trail, which I. It looks like it's an older trail, um, just due to the signage and stuff, because it was a very old sign. Karen got it. Picture of it. Looks like you got to kind of limbo underneath this tree to continue. All right, go ahead. Stuff with Austin. You can try it. You can, probably, right. walk, you can probably walk right underneath it, can't you? <laughs> probably. Limbo, limbo, limbo. I'm going to take the... Sorry. <sighs> This is interesting. I like Some it. Some more mycelium growing here on this roots. One of my favorite things about nature is you tend to see rotting wood. But what I naturally see is rebirth. So now we've got a little split again. Oh no. We have um, a lot. A lot of um, mosquitoes, which guys, I think they're gonna snack on me today. I look like a snack to them. There are definitely choices on this trail for sure that you can go every which way. This is really cool. Very, uh, very much out in nature back here. So. Well, isn't this nice? Well, the hubs was nice enough to help me carry the load here. Thank you so much for that. My pleasure. Looks like we have here the home of the creature from the Black Lagoon. I was just going to say. Um, this is really cool. I, I really should have, well, 
Maybe I should just swim in this and show everybody. But, um, I was going to say, how's the water temp? Oh, Let me that's check. an excellent question. Let me check here. Probably a cool 74 degrees year-round or not. Yep, it's nice and cool. Wow. So it is spring-fed, I believe. It looks a bit murky, but... That's pretty neat. Yeah. This is the part of the movie where we get eaten by the giant alligator. <laughs> and then the school children go, We want to go home. We just passed a field trip, so... But we, this is... Yeah, we passed about two groups. Definitely a different color than you're used to seeing. Yeah, let's... I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it's like a bluey brownish, like a yeah. blue blue brown. It's pretty cool. But yeah, the water's nice. Nice temperature. Yeah. They so, have steps that you can kind of get to. Yeah, it looks like these were used to obviously enter. Um, I would put a floating dock right there in the middle. Oh, absolutely. But, um, so when we passed the school children, they were actually had nets and they were going to scoop up some wildlife and put them in. And it looked like they had some crawfish, like looking things, some tadpoles in here. A lot of, fu a lot of future frogs in here. <laughs> Little tadpoles. Future Mr. Toads in here. All right, we're going to continue our walk and see what else we're going to be able to check out. There's a little bench right across from the area here of the mini lagoon. You know. <laughs> during times of discomfort during your trails, you are now able to enjoy a more peaceful way of exploring nature by sitting down and immersing yourself in your surroundings. Yeah, Why? this is a cool cool spot right here cool, I, cool view but today we wanted to keep it more about you joining us and keep it less about less preachy I guess just so that you can enjoy the walk as much as we're enjoying it yeah I think um we're starting to learn that less is more. So we'll let you take it in and we'll kind of comment when we see fit. Yeah. Definitely see a lot of poison ivy here. That's something that you don't like to see, but... Be prepared. And again, I would take this time to encourage you guys if there is something that you would like us to add into the channel or if you want to see something or us uh, talk about anything, please let us know in the comments. Reach out. And as always, if you like the content, please give us a like and a follow and subscribe. That definitely does help in us creating this content more and more. It's just so refreshing to be out here in the green area, just to see green again. What what day did we go on that last hike? Uh, that was two days ago, so... No, three days ago. Three days ago, so Saturday? At least three. Maybe, maybe even Friday we went, or Thursday. Well, maybe it was last month. No, I, I really <laughs> do think it was Thursday. And yeah. We're, we're... That sounds just about right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been a while. It's been five days since we hiked. So, we're due for another one. So, this is actually perfect. It's we're, yeah. I feel mentally better already just seeing more green and getting out in the open air. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, it's very uh, encouraging to see that there are people who are taking their time to teach the younger generations about nature 
Yeah, it is very important. I mean, you know, these kids will come back here and they're hopefully when they're our age and say, hey, I remember when we took a field trip over here and, you know, this is what we learned and we just got to keep these places maintain you know, and maintain clean. them and don't let all these apartment buildings and stuff go up um where we have all these nice parks and places of refuge and i mean the state does a great job of doing that and i just hope that it continues uh, All right, guys, we're on the natural bench here as a tree has fallen and we're sitting on it and we've got the camera set up on another tree. So finding revolutionary ways to film ourselves while we're out here because uh, there's not really any other way to do it. Um, this tree has a lot of mushrooms growing on it. Yeah, a lot of yeah. cool very peaceful back here though we're kind of back in the woods a little bit yeah i like it i like finding little spots where it gives you a sense of peace uh and it also incorporates the elements while keeping you safe it felt like this was probably the safest spot it's away from you know the wetland areas and all that stuff so um yeah, we just wanted to share this little spot here with you guys and tell you thank you so much for joining us on our walk. It was a total of four miles that it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, two mile, two point one miles there, and then two point one miles coming back. So about four uh, miles, and I think something that we learned on this is to start early because. We didn't have to rush mm -hmm. and last trail that we took we felt like we had to rush before the um before daylight was gone so if you get out early definitely do that so you don't have to rush um and you can really take your time and enjoy it and stop when you can and everything because that's a big part of your of your hike should be to stop and ground when you can mm -hmm. and enjoy the different animals that you can see and the different species of plants and every time that we're that we've been on hikes so far we have come out feeling like we've learned new stuff mm -hmm. about plants new stuff about animals like we were just learning about there was this the kids on the field trip were talking about crawfish in the creek which was pretty cool who knew and um that kind of stuff is really cool yeah and you know I mean, I, I knew that growing up because I grew up in Florida, but just to be reminded that there's crawfish in the creeks is pretty cool because mm -hmm. it's like pretty cool. And, you know, we, we, we also have kind of learned like little tips and tricks of like survival if we ever have to like live off the land. Like, I just mm -hmm. think that being out here makes it kind of realistic. Like it could actually happen one day, which is ultimately our goal. Yeah ultimately our goal so yeah. um i know we're far like we're pretty far away from it as you see us like batting away mosquitoes and stuff but we're certainly a year ago if you would have said that we would have been hiking and out in nature and stuff we would have been like nah nah we'll, we'll take our yep. couch and our uh and our netflix and all of our shows and we'll just our comforts yeah um but part of it is once you get moving you kind of get a little bit of that uh, hormone level rise and if you're an explorer like we are and enjoy nature you're just going to want to go ahead and do it over and over and over again 
and especially I saw a video on social media regarding um, how Americans don't travel and this guy was like well it's not that they don't travel the United States is so massive so big they travel within their country you know they go RVing they go camping you know and all that stuff and usually you see a lot of uh, travel videos around Europe um, and it's more like oh look at this old city and look at this old right. city and, and here we kind of want to continue the ways of you know North Americans you know because I think that it's 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 not as appreciated as it should. And I think that that's one of our best qualities that we have as North Americans. Is we try to appreciate as much of our surroundings. And I think that that's a really good thing. So, yeah, even as Floridians, we have so many parks, so many trails, so many places where you can go for free. And even if it's like six bucks, which is the most you'll have to pay at yeah. a lot of these places yeah um beaches and just so many places you can explore that are just even in florida mm -hmm. it's like you know sometimes you don't have to go to the great wall of china to get a good experience you can go right down the block and i think that's something that we want yeah people to realize is that you can go on a wednesday or a tuesday today's tuesday a tuesday mm -hmm. morning you know hike in your local yeah you know forest and it doesn't take that long uh it's very peaceful and again you get to experience something besides four walls um which i am starting to understand that being boxed in by four walls does so much more to the mind than you naturally think that it would um, and I think that that's part of that self-care and mental health care. Um, making sure that you trick your mind almost to believing that you're not always boxed in, that you're not, you know, subject to just staying inside four walls, that there is a bigger world out there and we want you to, well, we want to remind you and encourage you to go and find it however it is that you can i also wanted to encourage our subscribers if anyone because i think right now we're at like seven or eight I'm close sure. to ten we're reaching double digits so if any of you want to come hiking with us open invitation come on let us know let us know okay. we'll meet up with you at, yeah. the, at the spots and we can you know if you want to join the join the videos and stuff you can do that too mm -hmm. and um you know we might even put you to work we might even get you to film for us so <laughs> but no seriously if you if you want to join us on hikes we're not going to judge you if you want to take it slow if you want to take it fast any of that we just would love company because we want to share this with as many people as possible mm -hmm. and um we're going to try to do probably weekly hikes yeah. um karen just got a new job um so she will be very busy yeah coming soon yeah starting next week so part of my new um my new challenge is to find balance between you know my new job and all the things that i have learned um and the daily practices that i have uh, been doing for the past year um you know that's that's the new challenge for me and i'm excited though yeah. very excited about all that and we're not going to stop doing the channel we're not going to stop filming and going outside in nature and talking about the importance of mental health talking about the importance of self-care because we didn't get people in our lives that told us hey this is very important this is more important than whatever it is that your mind is focusing on and overthinking so we uh want to continue to advocate for personal care self-reliance um and 
continue to show you tips along the way. Um, so today is just a very special episode because it's number one, not just shorter, but number two, it's it's more quiet and it's less, this is what we found, this is what you should do because this is what we did, for lack of a better phrase, and it's more of taking you on a hike with us. And that's that because we enjoy your company as much as we enjoy nature's company and each other's company. So, yeah, touch a tree. Yeah, touch a tree. I'm doing it with my butt. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is restorative as much as it's. It's different than sitting on a bench for some reason. Even though a bench could be made of wood, it's just different. Yeah, it just feels different. And I will say though that I I'm remembering right now. I I wasn't an outside person at all, um, and I would remember some of my friends going, "Oh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go there," and I would be like. Mm -hmm. I'll stay here and I'll watch TV or whatever. And not that I regret it because, you know, it led me to, I, I'm still out here, right? But what I'm getting at is it was uncomfortable. Uncomfortable being in the elements. Uncomfortable with the uh, not knowing. There's a bee. Ooh, and there's a bee. <laughs> Hello, sir. Well, hello, B. Um, we are going to, uh, okay, okay. Ooh, he's doing a little. <laughs> he ain't doing nobody no harm, he's close. Yeah, no, he's not, but let me move. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. He just came to say hello. He just came to say hello. <laughs> So let me go ahead and just show you guys a little bit of where is it that we were sitting. So you see that's a big tree there. It has a couple of mushrooms kind of growing here and there, but um gosh darn it. My yeah. Definitely ruined now. Anyways, um, don't be afraid of nature. I know that, sorry, I completely forget where to look, but don't be afraid of nature. Um, be open to it. It took me a while, especially because I'm autistic and my environment, I'm just uber aware of everything. But at the end of the day, I found the peace that I was looking for. And I found the joy that my heart was looking for as well. And now I get to go on different adventures. So we love you guys. We hope that you have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you think that this is good content for you. We'll see you at the baseball game tomorrow. We'll see you there. Still recording, just to let you know. Is your mic on or off? My mic is on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the trail number two. We don't know what this is called. We don't know where it leads, but we're going to follow the trail. All right, figure it out. Oh, sorry, guys. I got bit so hard. All I'm doing is itching now. Damn, I... Adios mio. Adios mio. What do you call mosquitoes in Spanish? Mosquitos. Oh, mosquitos. Mosquitos. Los mosquitos. <laughs> yeah. Not as um, impressive or Spanishy <laughs> as you may think. What are um, spiders called? Arañas. Araña. Arañas. Wonder where this trail leads. It might lead to the entrance. That would be cool. There's that a would different be cool. way. 
to the entrance. I mean, there is a lot of wind today. Yeah, a lot of wind. I'm hearing a lot of noise, but I keep thinking it's going to be a wild hog or something, but it's always a squirrel. Squirrels seem to be the ones that make the most noise out here. They trick the mind, man. They make the biggest fuss and noises. And then it's like, oh, it's a squirrel. These trees are real pretty looking. Oh, good call. How pretty is that? So I don't know about you, but I actually stretched this morning because I felt like my joints needed some lubrication. I took a shower. <laughs> but yeah, I, I need to stretch more. Yeah, I think that that's very helpful. Um, I mean, as you know, aside from sex, it's you know, stretching and movement to lubricate your joints, but just like anything, you need to prepare for it, so that's why I did what I did. When we get home, we're going to do some more of that breathing technique. Yeah. And Wim Hof. Well, I found it very beneficial yesterday. Oh, yeah. I think you found your new obsession. Uh huh. You don't think so? I'm trying not to be obsessed with so much stuff. Because then I get, you know, doing it too much. Yeah. But as neurodivergence, we can't help it. <laughs> I could definitely use it probably in my morning routine. I could probably start doing that. Doing what? Doing the breathing, like, first thing when I wake up. Yeah. The way to... That's how I do it, like, it's like 7 in the morning, and as soon as I get my coffee ready, I take a deep breath, and I start stretching. Not yoga exercises or anything like that, although I have practiced it, but more like, I just want my body to know I'm ready to wake up, I'm ready to bring forward the day, and... This might be leading us to a different trail of some sort. Yeah. It's getting tighter. I think maybe this is the Seminole trail that we were... Oh. Okay, so this is Spring Hammock Preserve. Look Alligators, at that. Alligators, snakes, and other wildlife are common. Now we were going to go home, and Look at this. And there's a bench. So... It's very sandy, so. That is why I have long socks on with boots, and I tuck in my pants into my boots because I don't get sand in my boots. Yeah. Oh, great. Or a snake. It's a little, little sideways bench here. A little sideways bench. So this is that same body of water that we saw down at the end of the trail the other way. You still filming? Hmm? Are you still filming? Yeah. Awesome. It's not working the way I thought You'll see the dragonflies coming down and dipping into the water. I believe that they're eating something like some larva. Uh, I believe that's what the gentleman said. But we'll have Yum. to look that up and confirm that. I'm not sure why they're doing that. I, I doubt that they're getting tadpoles. But I think that it's larva that they're getting. And then when they go down to get that larva, you actually see a big fish come and eat the dragonfly. That's when you hear a big splash. 
It's very cool. Oh, look at that gator. Mm oh, shit. Holy. I don't know what? how we miss missed him. No, He's Lee. Right there. That's, that's what's kind of creepy about this kind of stuff is that you'll be like yeah. right here and then all of a sudden you don't see that there's a huge gator right next to you. Talk about the importance of being aware of your surroundings, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. He's, um. But we're safe. Yeah, he's probably about six foot. I mean, yeah. we're safe, but, you know, we're not a gator land. There's no railings right. blocking us from him. So right. there is that natural element of danger. And if he wanted to, he could swim over here. There's also this pathway over here. I'm going to go check it out for a little bit. Because it looks like the road kind of opens up and there's a uh, bridge. Are you talking? Or I'm going to stop. <laughs> 